Welcome to the MyPAR tutorial for installing MyPAR. Thank you very much for registering to be a beta user. We are thrilled that we were finally able to get MyPAR into your hands. So I'm just going to quickly run through the procedures for installing and activating MyPAR. Here I just have the install pack that you would have downloaded from MyPAR.us, either for Windows or Mac, and then the MyPAR license key that uh, should have been emailed to you. So to begin, I'm just going to double click on the install pack to extract it. And we'll go into it. And I'm just going to open up the install instructions so we can follow along. So we see the first step is to run the installer. So we'll double click on the MyPAR installer and let that start up. Okay, we'll click Next. Here is the default installation directory that it populates. Please leave this as it is. And we can choose to add a shortcut to the desktop if you'd like. This will download and install MATLAB Runtime, as my part is a MATLAB-based application that is, of course, deployed and executed like any other standalone application. So we'll just click Next and choose to install. Now I've already downloaded and installed the MATLAB runtime with the previous MyPAR installation, so this is uh, skipping the download portion. Yours will download the runtime and then install it, and that may take a little while depending on your connection speed. So our installation is complete. This is the message you'll see as well. And we'll just click Finish. And now we see the next step here is to install the, uh, or to activate the license. So to do that, we'll begin by just installing the Sentinel Runtime by double-clicking on Sentinel, Sentinel Runtime Installer. And we will wait for this to finish the installation. Okay, once that's complete, we can go back to our instructions and go to the activate or activation page by clicking on the link. And this will open up a web browser right to your activation page. So we'll choose browse and we'll pick your license key file and we'll click apply file. And if it says your update was applied successfully, your license is now active. So we can close this, and the final step is to run the Setup Assistant. So on a PC, you need to right-click on the Setup Assistant and choose Run as Administrator. You may need to. You may be able to double-click on it, but to be safe, Run as Administrator. And we'll just let the Setup Assistant start. This may take a little while. Okay, so there are only two steps in the Setup Assistant. The first is to select the location of your install pack. So we'll click Select, and I have mine right here. And you'll then click Set Up My Par. And this should just perform three operations, hopefully successfully. And I already have all of these fonts installed, so I will just click Yes to install each of them. Yours will just proceed without needing to click yes. Just got a few fonts to install to make my par look correct on your system. And there we go. My par is ready to use. So we can click on finish and either from the desktop shortcut that was created or the installation uh, location, which on a PC is Program Files, MyPAR application. You should be able to just launch it conventionally by double-clicking. If not, again, do right-click and run as administrator.
and my car should start up for you. It may take a while to start for the first time. Hopefully this experience goes rather smoothly for you. Please contact me any way that you'd like through either any of the support options or email or phone call if you run into any issues during installation. And there we have it. My car is up and running. So again, thank you so much for being a My Par Baby user. We are very excited for the road ahead and do not hesitate to contact me for any reason. Thanks very much and we really hope you enjoy my part.